We're joined now by one of the most celebrated men in American motorsports, NASCAR legend, champion team owner, and best-selling author, Dale Earnhardt Jr. He's just written a debut children's book, Buster's Trip to Victory Lane. Great to see you again. You Hall of Famer. Congratulations. Yeah, that, Inducted to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. How did that feel? It feels great. I mean, you know, you win races and you try to win championships, but I think the Hall of Fame induction is kind of like the, uh, the, the pat on the back from the whole industry that you were an asset, you know, that you mattered. Well, you definitely mattered, my friend. <laughs> if you ever second guess yourself, don't. You yeah. matter. <laughs> and, and we know you matter at home, too. You have two daughters. You have Isla, who's four. Yep. And, and you have Nicole, who's two. Yes. And we have a little video. We want to know if parents can relate to this going on in their household. Let's check it out. Mm. <laughs> One is yeah. nice and yeah. patiently <laughs> sitting, the other one on the table. Yeah. Is that a typical day in your household? That, that is absolutely the way it goes. We have, uh, you know, Nicole's just, you know, that second child's always different, and she's busy looking into everything, climbing on everything. Isla wasn't a climber, but, man, so we weren't ready for that. So Nicole's just, like, finding how to get on top of stuff that we never knew they could get on top of. So. It's always that second child, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. In your book, Buster's Trip to Victory Lane, I understand that Buster is based off your childhood growing up. Actually, uh, you know, the story uh, I have is, you know, I can definitely relate to Buster's experiences in the book. Uh, Buster's nickname or Buster's name comes from my dad. That was his nickname as a little boy. Mm. There's a lot of fun Easter eggs in this book that connect to different things in my life. Jimmy Jam, one of the characters, is, uh, is a nod to Jimmy Johnson, uh, seven-time champion. That's Jimmy Jam's kind of his alter ego. We have fun with that. But... Uh, the, the stories in the book are definitely relatable for me personally. I was really small mm -hmm. statured when I was young uh, and very shy, introverted, and I think Buster sort of is the same way and he goes through his experiences tr sort of learning about how to handle his emotions. And what, what inspired you to write a children's book? My kids, you know, when you, get, when you have kids, you, everybody gives you books. That's kind of like the easiest yeah. guess, right? So you got this mini library, piles of books. They really kind of gravitate towards certain ones for whatever reasons. And when the opportunity came about, I thought it'd be a great challenge. Really, the only critics that matter to me are my two daughters. Uh, the jury's still out. Whether yeah, they, I was going to say, yeah. what, what, what do they think of the book? Yeah, the jury's still out. I'm reading it to them. I'm, you know, Nicole's kind of young, uh, but, you know, trying to, trying to read the book to them, seeing what they like. Like, what they don't like about the book or what they really gravitate to in the story uh, really matters to me and and hopefully one day it, you know my children will love it of course but hopefully one day somebody walks up to me and says man this is the this is my book I bought this years ago mm -hmm. and and I you know my family or my parents read this read this to me every night and I love this book that would be the big payoff for me and and I know that your wife she posted a picture at a birthday party for Nicole called To Infinity and Beyond. I, yep. I think we have a little picture that you dress up at Woody from Toy Soldier. <laughs> Toy is that you? Hold that, on. This is part of the, yeah, part of the decoration. We made those blocks, man. I painted the letters on that, but there we are around the, we had some animals and little pony rides and so forth. And man, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun, you know, as they get older, they have their friends around and trying to feed the animals and all that. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, there you are. Yes. I got that hoodie. That's a good hoodie. <laughs> I'm going to keep on. I'm gonna, I might wear it. I don't need to, you know, don't need to be a birthday party to dress up as Woody. But I have a feeling you and your girls are going to collaborate on the book. Yes. I'm feeling that. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I mean, I, definitely even now taking direction from them, like I say, what they like and pick up on the book and like the most. Well, you know what? You're a good dad because yeah. you realize being a dad's like the best thing ever. Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, being a good dad's comes pretty easy. And I tell you, retirement's working on you, man. You're looking good. <laughs> looking really good. And thank you for coming through. Yeah, Always. thanks for having me here. Always, Always great good to see, see you. you. Yeah. Buster Trip to Victory Lane is available in bookstores nationwide right now. Make sure you go out and get yourself a copy, and I'm sure your kids are going to be happy about that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.